uh, you went to school was that a waste you believed in santa claus till you were 7 8 years was that a waste you played with toys you played with toys was that a waste it was a path of my growth i can't call it anything i cannot label it anything it it was just a path of my story i grew up now i don't want to play it's that simple i don't label it as good or bad i don't want to play with the doll anymore oh that means you hate the doll no i don't hate the doll that means you don't hate the doll means you love the doll no yeah i don't hate the doll i don't love the doll either neutral gear there's something called the neutral gear yeah i have come to neutrality with it simple non labeling yeah so don't call it a waste nothing is a waste part of my growth done over she's trying to justify the dvaita practices oh it helped me come to advaita but there's so many people who directly come to advaita without doing them then yeah no it's just that we all have different stories we just have different stories it's okay it was a part of my story it's not a part of her story just different not that this was a prerequisite once you make it a prerequisite then everybody has to go through it which is not true you just see there is no methodology there is no structure see the mind again is seeking structure it's saying i want a b c d to be prerequisite for going ahead i am saying no seeing happens at any age at any stage any time it's like lightning to anybody whether you understand or you don't understand it it just happens there are people who had this recognition but years later they understood from others oh it was called enlightenment right so it's got nothing to do with understanding it's nothing to do with effort it's nothing to do with seeking it just happens it's a seeing when i'm ready it will happen it's that simple but isn't that the script yeah individual script yeah. you have a uh, story yes everyone is different yes out. yes but it's not like a, a prerequisite that everybody must go through dwaitam oh, no. she's she's thinking that's the way it is that ha um, mm -hmm. huh, okay not a prerequisite the moment i say oh my efforts counted towards it i'm saying that it is my building block maybe not maybe it was what was up obstructing me all this time not my building block not my foundation stone my obstacle stone if there is one yeah maybe just removing that and then the sprout comes out the sprout was hitting a very strong cement and couldn't break out it needed earth to break out the moment the cement block was removed the sprout came out So then you cannot say oh, the cement block helped it. No, it was probably the obstacle, the hindrance for the sapling. Yeah, any attachment in this world is my hindrance. Mm -hmm. Super clear. So don't try to justify the duality. No ways am I going to justify it. It is what it is. Yeah, can I accept? it was like this it was like this yeah 20 30 40 years later she'll be sitting with an ekta and she'll be say this is what mommy did to me you decide is that what you want what's the problem show the truth now santa claus is not real <coughs> It's that simple. Santa Claus is not real. It's your fear. 
your fear is projecting out. Yeah, they see it. Kids see it. Kids see it. Yeah. So you think, is this what I want? Forty years later, she will be sitting with another Ekta. Yeah, she's at that moldable age, and she's your projection. It's my projection on the other side of the glass wall. Just the yeah, you know, like this glass bulb. Mm -hmm. There is light on the other side, then there is a glass film, and the light is on the outside. So if if that bulb could see, it would say, "Wow, I have lit this entire room. Mm -hmm. I am the doer of this. I can reach out to this room, but there is that glass film in the middle." Right. Right. <laughs> It wants to, it wants to touch and taste. And experience, it cannot. But we have the illusion that we can. Yes, because we're just, so clo close. It's, because it's so close. It, it, it's not like a straight glass wall. Let's say it's a flexible glass wall mm -hmm. that moves <laughs> with the projection of the hand, okay? There is this subtle thought that I have a hand, yes? The gross thought is projected on the other side of the glass wall. Mm -hmm. So there is no way the subtle thought and the gross thought can meet. Okay. There is simply the lust that the subtle thought and the gross thought can meet. Sit with this for a while. You know those people who unfortunately meet with an accident or something and have to amputate limbs? Yeah. And they say, you know, I can still feel the hand. The hand is not there. It's been operated, removed. I can still feel the hand. What is feeling the hand? What is that called? I just explained it. Oh, it's a subtle thought. Subtle thought. First, there is a subtle thought. Then there is the projection of the gross thought. There's this fine line between the subtle and the gross. The line is the line between subtle and gross. That which is subtle is subtle. That which is gross is gross. That is the glass wall I'm talking about. Just like in your dream, you see a tiger. Is the tiger really there? But the fear is so real. The blood. The scratch, it's so real. The pain is real. Everything is real. What has happened? Is the tiger really there? It's not really there. It's the subtle thought that has the lust to experience first and that manifests the gross thought. That is why Swapna Nidra Nyan is so important. You have to see it in the dream first. There is no way out of this. You cannot say, oh, can I get this without SNG? You will never get it. You will memorize it, you will intellectualize it, but you will never get it, get it. Only when you see it in dream and then you see it in waking and you're like, oh, it's the same, it's the same. That it's the same gives you the position the position of Turiya, the fourth. That cannot be had by just intellectualizing in the waking state. Forget about it. Yeah, you give a thousand dollars or you give a million dollars. You are not getting to it through waking state intellectualization. So this was when I was just about to fall asleep. This was maybe a year ago. Maybe a year in Germany then. And um, it was this person that was telling me a number in Cincinnati and Cincinnati area code is 513 and this person was telling me the wrong number and I was still in that transition and then I realized 
I am that person because it's my dreams. That character is telling me a wrong number. I mean, I'm only telling myself the wrong number. Yeah. It was, it was an experience where I could see that I've created everything, including the character, including the number that he was appearing to give me, which I knew was not the right one. Yeah. It was a very, um, it was a very, um, disconcerting experience, but still at the same time very educational. Yeah. Did you understand? Cincinnati is 513. 513 is the area code. So the person was giving him maybe 531 and he was in this transition between dreaming and waking where he's correcting the person. It's not 531, it's 513 and he recognizing I am giving the number to myself. The dream character is nothing but my own reflection. It was like a revelation. Yeah, that whatever I project is me only. Is me. I am giving the phone number incorrectly to myself. Yeah, so you have to see it in the dream first. Then it becomes apparent in the waking. Yeah. So if it's not happened, it's okay. I will just keep the soft intention every night. Yeah? Going back instructions. Every night, soft intention. May I see this reality today? And you you give that command to your, yourself. Which specific reality you want to see? You can tell yourself, I want to see I'm Nishkriyo today. Yeah? I'm actionless. You, you give the command. It'll happen. You'll be able to do it. Yeah? And it's okay if you're not able to see it the first night, the second night. It'll happen. It'll happen. But you should have that interest, huh? That love for knowing your own self. Then only it happens. I don't know what to explain to you in the afternoon. Remind. Oh. <laughs> I I won't be able to put it in words. Tell me what to. No, I didn't. Uh, I did understand what you said, but I only remember exactly what I. Said. Mm -hmm. What I was like, looking for. No, I don't really remember anymore. Please explain. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> See, this is what I call longing, thirst. You, you just pull it out of me. <laughs> I don't know what I said to you in the afternoon. I'll just, whatever comes now. When the eye dies, and it's dead. And there is no more coming up. It's done. It's done its job. There is this recognition. What needed to be done is done. What needed to be experienced has been experienced. The job is done. I am done. That's Turiya Deta. Yes. Ultimate is dispassion. Outcome of, uh, is it outcome of Paramahiragya? Again, okay, there are no outcomes. What is the outcome of the sun? There's no outcome. There's just light. There's no outcome. It's natural. It's just a natural dying of the eye. There's no sense of I-ness anymore. It's a sense of oneness. Ekta. There is only ekta. I've come back to that little girl who said, there are no others, there is only me. I've come around, round circle. There are no others. There is not even a me. 
But there are no others. There is no world. There's simply a oneness. That's it. It's knowledge. Knowledge of the ways is what? It's knowledge. Just arise in me, but there is no there is complete dispassion with the way. Yes. The subtle wave, the gross wave, the no wave, subtle wave, gross wave, no wave are not labeled anymore. The labeling drops off. Gross wave is the waking, subtle wave is the dream, the no wave is the deep sleep. There is no more labeling the waves. The ocean just is. It just is absolute silence. It's only consciousness appears as forms, but... No, it doesn't. Now there is no forms. There is no seeing of forms. Like in that abstract painting that I always describe, the painter's abstract painting, there are no forms really. Your mind says there is a woman, there is a tiger. You see forms. Does the painter see forms? Did the painter draw those forms? There are no forms anymore. Can we say it's like consciousness appears as unconsciousness, appears as subconsciousness, something like that? But you are still trying to put some label. Let me put a label. Anushthan, let me put a structure to this. Let me put a methodology. Are you seeing this? No. It's beyond. It's abstract. It just is. It simply is. There are no questions. There are no answers. There are no labels. There is no describing it. It is. It is. There is no I, there is no you. There is no it. The key is the I needs to die. When does it die? No more Jijiviksha. I'm done. No more what? Jijiviksha. Jijivisha, we did that word. The craving to exist, the craving to be. That's gone. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just waiting for the film to be over. You know how the film gets boring after some time? Yeah? But you cannot walk out. Yeah. I'm done. Yeah? It's not that I'm waiting and looking at the time. Okay, when is it going to be done? No, there is no aversion to it also. There's no attraction to it. To the point that there's no need to leave it. Yeah, <laughs> neutral. The neutral gear. <laughs> Doesn't touch me. I'm done. Just done. That's why they used to ask about Ramana. He saw. He saw everything. He said also, don't meditate. Why is he in Samadhi? They said he's done. So done. I am so done. <laughs> done is from not unhappiness. It's not like no. done with the life. It's not that. The Jiji Riksha mm -hmm. is done. It's exhausted. The candle was only so much of Jiji Riksha. The entire wax has been exhausted. There is no room for the flame to light a craving or aversion. Not left. The wax is over. It's done. It's done its job. There is a sutta of Buddha where he says, what needed to be done has been done. I have nothing more to say, Ananda. I am done. That is Turiya Tita. <laughs> I'm done for Ashtavakra also. <laughs> this verse is done. <laughs>